Everyone, I'm Major Nochoa with your look at sports. Keeping it on the diamond, the high school baseball playoffs in full swing, pun intended. In Class 6A, Montwood playing host to San Angelo Central in the by district round. Typically, these are best of three series, but both teams agreed to make this one a one game showdown. So, winner take all, Rams ready to go, and the Bobcat fans make the trip all the way from San Angelo. Bienvenido, and welcome to the Jesus Tovar show. Big time hit over to right. And run, Tovar, run, showing off that speed. A stand-up triple in the first inning. So let's go ahead and bring him on home, right? And Aaron Orodeza will do just that. Chopper over to short. And that's good for an RBI single. Montwood on the board, one to nothing in the first. And they would score 10 more runs after that. The Rams are by district champs. They take down the Bobcats 11 to 4, the final. Midland Lee making the trip to take on Eastlake. Game one here, top of the first. The Falcons defense right on it or under it, you could say. This is Julian Aguilera gets the out after the pop-up. Bottom of the first, Midland's pitcher tries to catch Eastlake's Elijah Batista off the bag, but the ball gets away from the first baseman, so Elijah will take second. Why not? Later in the inning, Batista at third, Eastlake's Aaron Sanchez at the plate, and bangerang right up over to left center. Batista will come in to score to put the Falcons on the board won the nil but the rebels would get the last laugh in this one as close as you can get final score seven to six the series moves to midland tomorrow for game two a must win for the falcons in that one america's was on the road for game one against the friendship tigers trailblazers will try to bounce back tomorrow after losing this one by a final score of 11 to 7. in class 5a game two between andres and del valle the conquistadores in a must-win situation against the eagles and del valle's gomez is going to help out with that effort skyrocket in flight and it drops over and right everyone gets the green light a two-run triple for Del Valle, that made it five to nothing, Conquistadores, and they force a game three tomorrow against the Eagles. They win it in a shutout, 10 to nil. This one between Labui and El Dorado, game one, and this one, Aztecs, the home team, and El Dorado's Facio Angel at the plate while we wait for the pitch here, and he's gonna drive in a run, a runner who was over at third, that hit over to right. El Dorado gets the first win in this series. Final score in this one, 13 to three. Game two tomorrow morning at Bowie. Well, we have some teams in 5A who are now by district champs and will be moving on to the area round. First, Hanks gets the dub over Burgess tonight, six to one. They sweep the Mustangs in this series. And the same goes for the Canotillo Eagles. No problemo at all against Irvin today, 16 to nil. The final in game two, Eagles moving on. In 4A, Riverside falls to Monahans in game one, four to two, and Fabens just had a tough time against Seminole, 16 to five. Game two for both of these series are tomorrow. Area round of the softball playoffs began today. Five teams from El Paso still left in the hunt. In Class 6A, Americas took game one against Timber Creek, 11 to five. One more win and they're moving on to the regional quarters. In Class 5A, El Dorado gets blanked by Wiley, 11 to nil, a must win for the Aztecs tomorrow. Staying in Class 5A, Jefferson falls to Lubbock Monterey in game one, 18 to three, and Chapin on the losing end as well against Abilene Cooper, 15 to five. But let's end it on a positive note here as the Hanks Knights took care of business in game one against Lubbock Coronado. The Knights winning it in a with a three run walk off in the bottom of the seven 12 to nine the final game two for all of these games are tomorrow. Well let's go ahead and wrap things up with some track and field news. The Chapin relay team competing for the first time at the state competition in Austin this weekend. This is in class 